Hey guys, it's Carter Cat, and I have, I believe, the last of my Night Before Christmas collection. Found out I was missing a few boxes, but I think this is like all of the Night Before Christmas ones. Hi, are you, you gonna join us? You can. She's looking down at me. Up at me. She's looking at me like, Mom, what you doing? So. Anywho, sorry, kind of slept like crap last night. Ugh, never had coffee. So, let's dive deep into this. Um, I've already showed you the Funkoween ones, which I thought I did for some reason, but hi, Arnie. So, besides like two, there'll be Funkoween ones. Um. I'm just gonna start this big one to get it out of the way. Um, this one, I know it's weird, but it's actually a Funko. It's their Super Deluxe. But it is Funko. So, uh, this was actually a Christmas present two years ago. That's Zero and Jack. Um, there was a uh, Funko Shop Edition, Diamond Edition one. And I didn't get that because Funko Shop. But yeah, so there's a Diamond Edition one that's Funko Shop exclusive, and there was that one that my husband found and bought me for Christmas. Yay! I didn't even know it was Funko until like, I was looking at it and I was like, this is Funko. <laughs> Anywho, uh, there's like no real order. I just put them all in a box, so <laughs> kind of see the box here. <laughs> uh, let's just dive in. Um, we have Santa Claus Jack. Santa Jack, I guess I'd say. It's from one of the first sets. Oh, he has teeth. Is it one of the first sets or? Ish. Yeah. Sorry. And then I have Sally. That's one of the originals because it's got a few of those bad boys on there. But we have Jack and Sally up here. And then they later came out with the rest. I have a box opening. Get in there. The Vampire Teddy with Duck, which I love. I love the Vampire Teddy. It's adorable. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, we have Zero. really excited about because this is where they expanded the um, characters for Nightmare for Christmas. This is 25 years anniversary and it's the devil which is a Walgreens exclusive. I actually searched down for this one at a Walgreens. Like when they were announced they were releasing these I had my husband take me to Walgreens like every other day. <laughs> like, I have to find it. But the, yeah, this one they expanded because they have the Harlequin Digimon, Dr. Frankenstein, the Vampire Teddy, and the Clown. And then they added some more recently. Speaking of the Harlequin Demon. And then there's a Glow in the Dark. Or is that Diamond? There is a Barnes and Noble exclusive of this one. He is heavy though. He's got some weight to him. You like laid right in the way where I was gonna put all these ivy. Alright, it's okay. I still love you. Still love you, fur baby. The next we have Pumpkin King. I actually have two of these because there was a glow in the dark hot topic exclusive. 
that I got. Bam. I kind of want there to be a version where he has the tearaway face. I know. It's not creepy at all, but yeah, I just, like every time I see the clown, I just think of that part of the song and this is Halloween. I am the clown with the tearaway face. <laughs> so, uh, I might need help there. Um, this is a New York Comic Con one. I now question it. Do, 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 do. Okay, now that's how it, that's how they did it. So Sorry, I just saw something and I had to look because it's a New York Comic Con exclusive, but it doesn't have the year on it. So I like had a heart failure there thinking it might be a fake, but no, on the Funko thing, the picture, it shows the sticker like that without the year, which is 2015, by the way. I actually bought quite a few of these from a friend. The older ones, like the Jack and Teddy, the Pumpkin King. I'm trying to think what else. There is a behemoth in here somewhere. There he is. The behemoth, which is a 2016. New York Comic Con, which they added the year on that one. I bought him off for a friend. He was, uh, just wanted to sm um, shrink his collection, so. He had a whole. bought a few sets from him. I bought this one and then, uh, actually the Alice in Wonderland ones, the live action. Excuse me! The live action ones I actually bought from him. So. There's that. Um, what do these? So these are Hot Topic Diamond Edition Dapper Jack and Dapper Sally, which I love. I've actually thought about cosplaying this because it's that's just so pretty. I love it. She's sparkly though. But yeah, I bought a few from him. So half half hour check there. And then I love Dapper Jack too. I just I like the Dapper look. Back to my friend. He was actually the one that told me about the pop price guide that I started looking at. Um, I'll do these. And of course, this movie would not be complete without the trio. two are holding like a slingshot, that's the word. And then barrels over here with the lollipop. Because he is sweet so. And then they're getting further away. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I recently met the head of the vampire jack. 
Hot Topic exclusive, which is metallic. Here it is. Ba -ba -ba. And then another Hot Topic exclusive. It's Jack with like the snake coming out of him, which is an interesting design. Here's another Jack. They, with the 25th anniversary, they came up with like a lot of Hot Topic exclusives. Most of them Jacks. There was a Jack head that had like forest design on it. They had a Diamond Edition Jack. Yes. They had a Scandy Call Jack. And then they had this one, which is the Zero Art, where I guess this is where they technically um, started doing the art series, I guess. This is where they started playing with it, you could say. He's got a uh, Zero right there on his head. But the design is only on the front half of the Funko. So I guess this, this is where we could say they start playing with the art series a bit. And then, yeah, it's the last Hot Topic exclusive, the box kind of got smushed, but it's regular Dapper Sally. I do have Dapper Jack, but I guess I've already shown him, or I haven't uncovered him. Crap. We'll find out later. <laughs> um, no, I lied. I have one more. This Hot Topic exclusive. Lock Shock and Barrel in their tub. I love it. I screeched. My screechy screech. Kidnap the Sunday Claws. Yes. <laughs> and then this one is a. Box selection exclusive, and he's broken! I thought I fixed him. I guess I did not. Anyway, it's Jack Skeleton with the fountain. Um, his arms come off there. But it's in the fountain. I fixed him. Oh well. You'll fix him later. And you? I do love that they're coming out more with, um, just stuff like this, like Jack Skellington with the fountain, Lock, Shock, and Barrel in the tub, uh, the other town parts, Zero's house, Jack's house. I still have yet to get Under the Moonlight. Still have yet to get that one. Um, I'm trying to think. And then we have Snowman Jack. We need to come out with a Christmas Land one, like village moment, whatever part. We have Sally with the nightshade and the kitty. We have Shelly with the homemade basket. A good basket she made for Jack. We have Boogie Boogie as the bugs, but no bag. Couldn't think of a word there from it. And Dr. Finkelstein, my bad. Not forget his name. Finkelstein. And I do believe his head might move. You know what? Let's find out. Because I could have sworn I saw some with his head open. So let's find out. Oh, yep. I can already tell. It has a hint. Ah! ah 
brains. I'm gonna play with that now. <laughs> There's that. Um, I think they came out with most of the characters, besides maybe the lady he creates at the end. Um, no, there's a slime creature, too. And they haven't come with the vampires. Or the band! We need a band, guys. We need the band. But they came out with most of them, at least. Most of them I thought they would. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know there was a devil. <laughs> I was like, devil? What? And I actually had to go back and watch it. I was like, oh, there he is, Mecca. Like the witch I knew, and then the undersea gal, yeah. The mummy boy, of course, one eye. Um, so these last two are part of the Funkoween. Ah! I got the 10 inch check with zero. Hey, big boy. I found him at Walmart. And then side. My husband loves me much to buy me that one. And then uh, for Christmas. We frequently go to Think Geek for stuff. Movies. Sometimes they have fun goes. Other things. And at one that we were at in their case I finally see the Chase Mayor. And my husband bought it for me for Christmas. ones that I own. There are several, like I said, several that I don't own. I don't own the Barnes & Noble exclusive Harlequin Demon. Um, there's a regular Vampire Jack, and then there was, I think, a Golden Dark Vampire Jack. There's, there's several I don't own, just because, I don't know. There's a few I don't own just because I didn't know about them or I wasn't collecting at the time. Like, um. Uh... Oh. You spelled Nightmare Crick. You stupid. Um. Look, the, the original Oogie Boogie. There's that. Sorry, gotta go through this real quick. Uh, there's the Zero Chase, which is Chase, or, sorry, Zero in the Doghouse, which is a Chase that glows in the dark. There's that one that I had, did not get. Um, there's the original Mare, when the first set came out. There's a S Sugar Skull Sally. Uh, there's a Zero Art series that's coming out. I think that's a Funko Shop exclusive. My word came out. There's a 10 inch Oogie Boogie Funko Shop exclusive that's going dark, it looks like. There's another Zero Chase from Barnes and no uh, not from Box Lunch where Zero has the bone. It's going dark chase. There's Pajama Jack. Pajama Jack, Pajama, yeah, Pajama Jacks, um, that's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive that I haven't got. There's a lot, yeah, Vampire Jack. Yeah, the original Oogie Boogie that came out in 2012, he's holding dice, he's green. And I think there's a hot topic version of him, come on. Um, there's a Sally holding the flowers she gets the premonition of, yeah. There's a Hot Topic Oogie Boogie where he's the stitches have become undone, the bugs are coming from his arm that I did not get. Still haven't gotten the Wolfman. Probably gone to order him. Yeah, the Harlequin Demon glows in the dark, that's Barnes and Noble. 
Um, Gold in the Dark, Jack Skill, Vampire Jack from Walgreens. There's the original three set of Jack, Sally, and Oogie that are metallic. That is $880. Holy snap. There's like two Sugar Skull Jacks. There's one from 2013. Where he's got like a spider on his head. There's actually a chase of the original Zero that glows in the dark. I thought there was, I just wasn't for sure. Um, going through this real quick. Oh, and then they came out with a diamond edition of the Harlequin Demon. They love that diamond edition, don't they? Um... There's a lot of glow in the dark ones I'm noticing at this end that I don't own, but it's okay. But yeah, there's there's a few. I'm trying not to get duplicates. That didn't work at once. <laughs> I literally had three of the same Sally's. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I didn't even find out until I was unpacking. I was like, wait a minute. Um, but yeah, that's so far all of them my own, um, I'm only missing like two, I guess, I really, I really need to get the Wolfman and Under the Moonlight. Alright, twitching. Anywho, let me know your favorite Nightmare for Christmas character, besides, you know, Jack, or Oogie Boogie. Or, let me know if it's some favorite song. Uh, what movie moment do you think we should have? What else we should have? I think they should do, like, the part where they're making toys. That would be an interesting one. Just have them making the toys. Christmas Town. I think we needed some of there. Um. Your thoughts. And I'll see you guys next time.